Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Wrestling With Books. I'm coming to you pretty lax. We're in, we're in our casual clothes. I am cleaning up the kitchen tonight. And I thought, well, you know, I think I can clean up the kitchen. You're hearing the water running. I can do the things I need to do. I'll tell you about a book I recently read because I reviewed this book already. I filmed the video and I just felt like I didn't do it justice. And that's how you know you really really enjoyed a book where I'm not just I'm just gonna hit it and quit it with this review okay I need to really like express what a surprise and delight this book was and it is called a duet for home by Karen Jan Glaser and I got this on NetGalley the description of the book combined with the fact that you know, when it says New York Times best-selling author, I'm probably going to request it. That's just how I roll. That I do, I do trust that when I see that come up. And I received this book, and I kind of just picked it on a whim to read, and I loved it. I loved it. So it takes place at a homeless shelter in the Bronx. This shelter is called... Huey House and we are following a character named June who is having her first day at Huey House. I have so much cat food in the pantry. I don't know if we're going to fit this camera. Here we go. We're here. We're here. Okay. So it's her first day at Huey House and her backstory is uh, she's in about she's middle school age. So this is a middle grade book. She's about 6th or 7th grade. She plays the viola and her father has just passed away so now it is her her younger sister maybell i believe and her mother and her mother has just checked out she's depressed she can't she stopped working um if she did work before she's just laying in bed and june or june perry is her full name she believes that they're just being sent to a new place to live she does not even realize they're homeless until they get there and she's the one who translates for her mother and she's taking on all of this change and stress and while we're at Huey house june meets tyrell he has lived at Huey house for three years and he loves it because for him this is where he can get a guaranteed meal he can get certainty that he has a home where it won't matter that his mom you know can't hold a job and things like that so he loves Huey house and while they're both there what comes to their attention is that there is a new program the local government is rolling out where they are giving homeless shelters cash incentives to place people out to get people into other housing where they're kind of on their own and the reason that's an issue is because they're the cash incentive is inspiring them to do it before they're ready it's inspiring them to get out within it's telling them to get people out within 90 days when somebody may not be on their feet they may not have money and the places that they're locating them to aren't places that have public transportation or a subway line or anything like that so that was the core issue of this story but what we get throughout it is i mean just so much of the experience that i felt grateful for the opportunity to learn about because you know i will just say it i have been privileged and didn't know you know i could imagine i could think about what it would be like in a homeless shelter but do i know absolutely not and hearing about june and maybell having to take wake up at 5 a.m for the bus even though school starts at 9 because the bus has to take so many different kids through so many different routes you know and things like that about tyrell's loving the homeless shelter because he can't rely on his mother to get and hold a job so all of these different ideas and perspectives were coming to light and it is just absolutely charming so what brings tyrell and june particularly together is their shared love for classical music and the viola now june 
in no way comes from a previously privileged background. Her father, she said, saved his tip money from delivering takeout for months and months and months to get her that viola. And Tyrell's never had an opportunity to learn a musical instrument or anything like that. And they end up learning and getting lessons together. So even though June is already very skilled and trained, she makes sure through her new journey of getting lessons that Tyrell is going to as well. And that kind of brings them together before they then band together further to speak out to their local government about how they feel about these rulings that have just been put into place. So I thought it was just so expertly written. I love that it was written uh, at a middle grade level because it, st it spoke volumes to me as an adult, and I think it will speak to middle grade, obviously, age children as well. So it's something that we all can really benefit from and be able to understand and read. And this could be a great book to read with a middle schooler in your life. And I think it's important that they do read books like this and do experience all the different levels of lifestyle and opportunity and knowing um, how to accurately and efficiently help others because through this and through their fears of what is happening with these new rulings, there is one good social worker who does work hard to make sure people have the skills they need, who does work to check in with all the students and who does go the extra mile and that character, Mrs. G, they call her, was really uh, just inspiring. And as an adult reading it, you want to be more like her in your present day. But I imagine as a child reading it, you would really want to aspire to be like her. So that's why I think this is a great book to read with your kids and then say afterwards, okay, what can we do? You know, what can we do? Uh, right now, I did it start off with donating the cost of the book because I got it for free through NetGalley. So I donated that to my local family service league because that's what I was able to do immediately. But I want to do more and get more involved and remember how this book made me felt, feel. You know, remember how I felt while reading it. So this way I don't forget. And that's why I really wanted to make sure I express just how much I enjoyed this book for all ages in, in a video because I really did enjoy it. It was just so enjoyable to read and easy to read despite the hard things happening because also we see you know Tyrell get attached to friends in the shelter who end up leaving and so many different things I mean the grieving that June her mother her sister go through the the fear of when you're an adult who can't provide and then the fear of when you're a child who can't rely on the adult in your life to provide for you. And there's just so many different layers, so many different feelings and a lot expressed in this book. So I hope you will consider adding it to your to read list. Add it to your TBR. Look, your TBR is already full. I know it. I know it is. I can see it. It's right there. It's full. So what's another book, right? Add this one to it. And I'll be back again with some more of these, you know, on the fly reviews. I like reviewing when I don't have to care what I look like, what I'm doing, and I can just like spit it out, share it with you, and then come back for the next one. So thanks for being here, guys. And I'll see you next time.